Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking. Ugh, I can't state the show looking like this. Hey guys, and welcome back out to another Film Learning unboxing episode. I just got back from vacation like literally a couple of hours ago, and my mum said that there was a package waiting for me. And lo and behold, it was this big ass package here from Aperture Tech. Now, if you guys have been following me and Film Learning for a while, you'd know that I absolutely love these guys' lights. You probably would have noticed a drastic uptick in the quality of the lighting that I did in my skits and the show itself, and that's all thanks to the lights from Aperture. These things are fantastic, so I cannot wait to see what they've sent me. Now guys, full disclosure, they did contact me prior to sending me this and say that they were actually sending me a light. So we all know what that means. I get to play this clip. This video sponsor, woo -hoo -hoo. That's not gonna get old, anytime soon. Ah, here we go, this thing is heavy. All right, you can see, totally not open in any way, shape or form. Now yeah, guys, I know it's a bit, <laughs> low tech, but I've only got a dog hair covered fork that I can open this thing up with because I wasn't smart enough to prepare earlier and actually grab a knife or a pair of scissors because like I said, I just got home and I've just grabbed whatever the hell I could because I am excited to open this thing up. Man, this box is well reinforced. My dad actually picked this up from the post office and he was like, what the hell is this? It's bloody heavy. My dad's just got bony girl arms. This thing is heavy. My God. Ooh. The moment you open up a box and I'm just gonna put down the fork and you see something like this, Amaran, the flagship. You know you've got yourself a good luck. And this is called the Tri 8C, don't mind Donnie, he's just <laughs> snoring over there. The Tri 8C V mount. And this looks pretty damn cool. Now, let's see if I can get it out of this box with. <clears throat> oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Let's try not to drop it. Whew, it's like a box in a box. Okay, so here we have the box in all its glory. This looks, wow. So this is a square panel light. It's a bit like my, uh, my other light that I'll point to over there and then include a shot of, but this thing looks like it's a hell of a lot more dense and hard wearing. You know, I really should do these unboxings on a table, like Tobias did from Surface Studio when he got his action VFX bundle. That was a really good idea. Okay, let's pop this bad boy. By the way, if anyone's interested, that is Terminator 2 on Super Nintendo, just playing in the background. Okay, so pop it open. Okay, so the light itself comes in its full kit bag, all ready to go. Wow, that is a really nice kit bag. Yeah, oh, it's like a satchel. It's even got a little buckle on it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. So it also comes with a handy carry strap as well. Just in case you don't want to carry it like a satchel, you can actually strap on. <laughs> strap on this on both sides and you can carry it over your shoulder which is really handy because this is beefy this is seriously beefy what I'll do guys is I'll actually chuck the weight up on screen because this is not a light light Whew. all right so I'm just gonna chuck that down now I wanted to get good audio so I haven't turned the AC on so if you see me start to sweat it's because it is friggin hot in here and I'm wearing a singlet underneath Ooh, bit of nipple there Ooh. Demonetized. <laughs> okay, so pop that. Ooh. Okay, there is a lot to unpack in here. So if I can just show you guys, there is the light itself. And it looks like that's the AC adapter. Then you've got the cord. Then you've got. There's another part of the cord. That's just the the adapter. I believe that's to connect the 
the battery to the light itself. Then we've got the controller itself there. I've actually got one of those similar to with my light over there. We've got some mounting racks. We've got our, that's just to put onto the C stand. Got some screws, no idea what they're for. But as always, we do read the manual when we get one of these things. But I'll just pull out the light itself so we can have a look at that. Now, just looking at this light, down, this thing is a hell of a lot sturdier than my previous incarnation. Because, I mean, look at that. That is solid as a rock, and it's all metal at the back. See, my previous light over there, I will put the name on the screen of that, but that is just plastic. But this one, it's even got handles. So you could actually have someone following you with a light. That's friggin' awesome. So you can see we've got the battery mount here. I've had a look at a review online of this one because I was interested in it. And that's an LED panel, and then we've got the two battery mounts there, and this is where we plug in the AC. That, that is sturdy. Like, that is super. That is so much heavier than the other light. And I've dropped some of my Amaran lights before, like a lot, and by drop, I mean big dog's asses have hit them, and two-year-old and one-year-old boys have hit them, so, <laughs> and they've hit the ground, and I've never had any issues with those. When I've dropped my softbox lights, I mean, if you've seen any of my previous episodes on lighting, you know that I don't have a single one of my softbox lights that still has all the globes in them. Some of them just have wires hanging out of them, but these bad boys, I have never even busted one LED in them. That's how tough these things are, and this, this feels friggin' indestructible. Okay. So it also comes with a, a diffuser panel and a handy little pouch. So we've got we've got a gel just to diffuse the light. This one looks like it's actually got a bit of a green tinge to it. Something like this, this little pocket, that's actually really handy. Because I don't know if you guys know, but what I use to actually put that color filter on the back is just cellophane. So the things that your uh, your grandmother might wrap up her Christmas presents with that you can see through them, it's stupid. But I just get them from just a party supply store. I can just pick one up and right now. This is what I use to light the background. Look how crappy and raggedy that thing looks. That's what I use to light the background in every film on an episode. Either this one, or the red, the red one that I have now, or if I want purple, I just lay them on top of each other. Movie magic. Okay, scrunch now for the rest of the episode. What else have we got in the bag here? So we've got our two batteries. It'd probably help if I held up two batteries. We've also got what's called an Easy Frost Diffuser Kit for Amaran. It can't, actually comes with its own softbox, so you can put these softbox mounts on the side. That's friggin' awesome. Because that's one thing that I don't have for my other light over there, my big panel light, is the softbox. So this light is gonna come in bloody handy. Because I only have one panel light at the moment and then I have to bring in the softbox lights if I wanna use any key lights or fill lights. And most of the time I use my little Aperture Amaran lights. I think they're a 198C, but I could be wrong about that. I mostly use those to just put little accents around me and to sort of separate me from the background. I think that's about it. The only other thing I've got here is the remote, which comes with a battery. Always good. But for now, guys, that was everything that was in the box. So for now, guys, that's going to do it for this unboxing episode. I am going to do a review on this light coming up shortly, but I just thought I'd show you what was in the box and everything. So guys, if you did enjoy this episode of me just rambling incoherently, please smash that like button. And hey, if you are new here, please don't judge us just on this video. Just hit that subscribe button and check out the rest of our content. And make sure you turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film learning episode because they are better than this. I've got two other episodes right over here. I think I'm going to put the Black Panther lip tattoo one there and maybe a Thor costume change effect right there. As well as a playlist of a whole bunch of stuff right here. My social media crap is above my head. And until I see you again, guys, keep learning.